What's up guys, it's Melite Darkness here, and we're going to be doing another um, run through of Garage Kogi. Now I don't know if this is going to be an easter egg attempt, Nikolai, or a high run attempt, I have to fight Nikolai. He we'll just search the high run attempt. Then, yeah, then I, I try to get I, we, we high will be rewarded. Today. He will come for us. Hopefully everything is good. We're going to try to maximize points the best way we can. And um, I will do my best to guide the newcomers through this. Now the best way to maximize points in the first round is just to knife them eight times, or shoot them eight times in the leg, rather, and then knife them. So I like to board up these four windows for the point. Can never hurt. Extra points never hurts. Eight times in the leg and in the knife for ultimate maximization. Now, something I like to do that nobody really thinks about is I line at least two zombies up and I shoot them in the leg for the penetration. Because one of these zombies will not be able to get any bullets. So I penetrate. If I run out of bullets, I will be forced to resort to more primitive forms of combat. My God, this is now, I don't know defeat. if that's the most I've Stalingrad? gotten yet, but that's pretty good for right now. Oh, come down here, with that come here grab Not this me. bottle. I was never part of that. I am a Come over daughter. here. Open this door. Come to this. One part is here, the other part is inside the jug room on the chair. Come over here, grab this bottle. There that is. And the part should be right here, yep. I will hold on to this. The first shield part. Call it Second feeling. round, two knives. It's simple. Now you might want to watch out for the nuke. Everybody hates the nuke. Everybody. I don't care who you are. You hate the nuke. <laughs> But um, yeah, two knives, you try to stay as far as you can from every zombie, and that's basically it for that second round, just try to stay away from the loot, and everything should be a-okay, matter of fact, let me try to board up this window. Ah, yes, there we the go. The interminable process of unsustainable oh, repairs. Yep, you see what I'm talking about? The nuke. Everybody hates the nuke. Stay distant from it. From the zombies when you're knifing them. And I don't know what y'all were saying, but I'm recording. What what did he say? What did he say? No, I am recording. I would strongly suggest that you not what he said. He said something about his girl. I think his big Russian heart might be broken. What if I had to go pee pee, nigga? What if I had to go pee pee? No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, for the first couple rounds, you know, I'd stay down here and rack up points, you know. Never open up this door unless you absolutely need to. Absolutely. This door is closed for a reason. a reason. No zombies can come from behind you. So you just sit here, rack up on some points, you know. Actually, I'm messing up. I can knife them yet. Mine flesh is mine or mine alone. Sometimes. It's all right to shoot him if you feel a little too overrun. But for the first three rounds, I rely on my knife just for the points. It's a good maximization strategy. Pretty much I just do this until I have enough points to open everything up, grab the shield parts, create the shield, things of that nature. 
Basically, just try to get set up perfectly before you do anything. Because if you try to do things in the high round, you're gonna have a hard time. It reminds me of the one episode of South Park. He was like, you should have french fried instead of pizza. If you french fry, you're gonna have a bad time. There's some shit like that. That's pretty funny. You're gonna have a bad time. But yeah, this room I like to call my little safe room. Only because I can go back here in this little corner and just chill. And I don't have to worry about zombies coming and swiping me from behind like that one just did. Um, let me see. I'm gonna that door. I see what you're saying. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Hundreds are worse, man. They're harsh on the lungs. Let's see how much is this. Another thousand points. So I guess I'm just gonna stay up here for a little while. Just rack up till I get that thousand points and I'm gonna open that door, create the shield, and then after that I would be going to the power room. I did not realize my supplies would dwindle quite so rapidly. Oh my gosh. I just wasted about five rounds. Oh, here the dragon comes. Okay, maybe he ain't coming. I'll try to take that. So loud! I may have perforated an eardrop! What's that? Did someone say something? Oh boy. Perhaps you'll come to help me, friends, eh? Believe it or not, the highest go. round I've made it on this map was eh? probably <laughs> like 16. I swear. It's, and it's not because it's hard or anything, it's just I always put myself in stupid positions where I can't get out of, like literally stupid positions, I'll back myself into a corner and end up dying there. So we just come over here, look for the part, here's the box, great. Yeah, we're looking for the, for the dragon shield part. My pockets aren't deep enough to carry around such potentially useless items. Again, keep that door closed at all times. And if you want, you can come back here to camp. Stay here too. They can't come from behind or anything. Everything's straight ahead. I love it. Staying away, basically playing keep away with the zombies the whole time. Jesus, thank you. So we run all the way back here. All the way, all the way, all the way. Come down here. And now we're able to make the shield. Now, I hope the scales I'm pretty sure the everybody knows this, mate. but if you're new, make him upset. the shield is very useful. It protects you, whatever side it's on. So if it's in front of you, it protects your front. If it's put away, it protects your back. It has, I guess you would call it two different attack modes. It's the melee and then you have like dragon flames. They're pretty handy, especially when it comes to like Garth modules and stuff like that. You could just blow all the zombies away with that. Oh, and the like, what are they called? The Russian Mangler guys? Yeah, you hit them with that and they're basically instantly dead. Now the perfect setup to this game is a little tricky because I've had many games I've had many games where, where different perks and everything gave me different opportunities to do different stuff. So it's all about really how you play the game. 
like I said, I'm the kind of player who likes to get things done in the early rounds. So I don't have to worry about it later. And then you have the people who like to do stuff in high rounds. Either way, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that you're set up pretty nice for like having good perks, having good weapons, making sure your shield is 100%. Um, sometimes if you have enough points, you can get the Bowie knife. That's good until like round 10. Um, let's see, what am I doing here? Okay, I have my shield. I guess I can start the round. Oh, almost got caught. <clears throat> Up around. Oh, look at that. A nice Max Hamill for me. Now, basically, all we do here is just hang out until. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't grab my perk. I should go do that. Yeah, the one thing. That's very, very important is quick revive. Unless you have your all time favorite gobble gum perkaholic, quick revive is like the ace in the hole. Without that, your game is basically pointless. Because once you go down, it's a wrap, and then you have to start all over again. And I do not like starting all over again. Only because the setup process is very long. Oh my goodness. Yes. Getting set up in this game is very tedious. It takes a long time. Practice more than anything. All it really is is just trying to get your gobble gums, your perks, get the wonder weapons or whatever. Try to complete all your challenges because you get the max ammo and a free perk and then you also get a free uh, That's just the a, a free pack of punched weapons oh yeah um, I didn't mention it before but this video well this gameplay will be uploaded in increments of 15 minutes hopefully Hopefully this video will be pretty long. Well, not long, but hopefully I get in very high rounds. And again, my expectations are always high. I've never seen round 20 yet <laughs> on this map. So hopefully we can be able to get that done today. But yeah, another thing, if um if you guys like my videos or you guys want to see anything in particular just let me know just you know drop comments down in the in the box you know drop some likes maybe some subscriptions it's okay I don't mind no, I'm just kidding but yeah definitely likes I would definitely like to take a like and you know some feedback on the gameplay let me let me know how I'm doing Marxist I'm kind of new to this had a lot of I got a few potential. videos up and I say uh, I'm okay at it I mean there's definitely better players out there but I want to get just as good and with your guys' help I believe it's possible but yeah this video is about to end in like a minute and some change um, but I will definitely definitely be finishing it be finishing up in the next clip you guys are gonna catch me. One day it will be no more boards. Well not finishing it up, but One finishing up getting set up, if that makes sense. Um let's see what we got here. Um I guess I'll just wait here. hang out. Wow, it's only round five? I thought it was like higher than that. Jeez. What do I have? Oh, I can get a third weapon. Nice. I didn't even grab my second one yet. Where's the box? 
Oh boy. Alright guys, well, this video is about to end. I will see you in a few.